So guys, I'm doing back to back recording because I know that I'm I'm very behind. I'm very behind. So how do you identify a breakout or a, a break of structure? So if you hear me saying breakout, break of structure, first break of structure, fake break of structure, I'm just I'm just talking about one and the same thing. I'm just talking about one and the same thing. So the first thing that you wait for once the market reaches a key level. Once the market reaches a key level or an SNR level, so something like, let's just go to the monthly. Um, I like this one right here. So here, you see that here we do have a resistance. Here we do have a support. So, what are you looking for right now? Let's say you were definitely looking for some sell opportunities. You were looking for some sell opportunities. Maybe you could have even capitalized on some, this sells right here. You could have actually capitalized on this sells right here. You could have capitalized on this sells right here. Because as you can see, we do have the inducement. We have the transactional liquidity sweep. We do have the inducement right here we do have the fake breakout structure then we do have a key breakout structure right here which is this one because don't have an uh, don't have an opposing candlestick right here and here we don't we do, we do it actually we do have an opposing candlestick but you don't see a super for high then again here same thing applies we don't have we do not have a, a super for high right there then you could have been looking for sales. So definitely you are looking for sales right here and it's good, you're considering sales. And as I told you, there's something that should occur. So we have this next candle right here. Then now we go to your daily time frame. Daily time frame, you are still looking for sales right here. But once you see this break of structure occurring, this fake break of structure occurring right here, fake break of structure occurring right here, then you are not uh, looking for sales anymore. You just wait until you see the what? The key break of structure, which is just this one right here. Key break of structure right here. Then from there, now I'm, I'm looking for what? I'm looking for trades right here. I'm now looking for trades going to the upside. So how do you identify the break of structure? So there are a couple of break of structures that occur. So there's a break of structure that is just like this. You will see in the line sheet, it's going to be something like this. Break of structure. So you see that here we have a break of structure. But now that break of structure, when you go to what? When you go to when you go to your, your budget, you don't see it. So for example, just something like this. This is a good break of structure right here. Uh, this is a good break of structure. So look at the difference between you see here. We have a break of structure the market even close above there's no problem with that and even when you go to the line chart you can see that here there was a break of structure that is visible right there so you can even consider this one as a good break of structure now there is another one so let's just look for an example like this one right here here this is a break of structure this is a clear break of structure in terms of regarding what regarding um algo trading this is a good break of structure but when you go to the line chart you can see what the market did right here the market did not what close below right here the market did not close below right here this one is a good break of structure let me show you the one that should that you should never consider so we can see that this one the market did what swept that low but even though the market did what did not close below this one but this is a good break of structure. So the next one that you would see is just something like this. Something like this right here. The market did not sweep this low right here. The market did not sweep this low right here. But you can see on the line chart is clear that the market did what gave us a break of structure. On the line chart, the uh, on the line chart, the market gave us a break of structure. I do not consider this break of structure. I 
I highly do not consider this break structure important. So the break structure that you're going to be looking for is this one right here with the sweep or the market closing above or sweeping or doing what, you don't care. But as long as you can even identify it on the what on the line chart. So when the break structure is clear on the line chart and uh, on, on your candlesticks right here, it's, it's, a, it's a very good, it's a high probability break structure. Then when you see it like this, it's very good, it's medium medium high medium probability break of structure is not good but it's okay but now when you see something like this step away from the market you do not consider that break of structure significant so i hope it's clear i hope it's clear if you do have any questions just ask so i'm going to be doing another video again right now so it's just back to back until i finish everything guys okay so i'm done with this one let's just uh, look at another one